Compression is exactly what it sounds like. It's just when something quickly compresses on the thoracic cavity and then possibly let's, let's go. Uh, during compression injuries, this is when you can have a lot of organs that burst, obviously depending on the location of the compression. Okay, so we have blunt force trauma, compression, and penetrating trauma. So penetrating trauma or objects, obviously, these are things that go through the body. They may, um, they will always usually ex have an exit wound. There will always be an exit wound and an entrance wound. So your bullets, your knives, piece of metal, uh, pieces of metal could be from either a car crash, explosion, glass, the same, uh, could be just shredded glass from the window shield, uh, steel rods. These are just some. These are just some examples of what can cause a penetrating uh, injury. But it's not everything. Obviously, it could be pretty much anything that can go into a body can be an impelled injury or penetrating injury. <clears throat> See, obviously, it can cause damage to internal organs as it's going into the body. Um, it's going to physically injure those organs and also any movement after it has entered the body, if that is if it stays inside the body. It'll continue to cause harm with movement, possibly. So every time you have um, two or more ribs broken in two or more places, so that means that I, got, I have two, two or more ribs, so at least two, so these two or more ribs broken, and each individual broken out of, the, of those two or more ribs have to also have at least two fractures per rib. So flail chest, that's what it's called. It's called flail chest when you have two or more ribs broken in two or more uh, places. And what it does is that essentially it's, um, see, how can I word this good? Essentially what, what this is, is that it's a segment that has broken off from the rest of the chest. Um, that's what a flail chest is. It's just a, a segment of the chest has kind of broken off from the rest of the chest and now it's kind of doing its own thing. And that can actually cause damage to your patient. So <clears throat> if you guys do not know what a flail chest is, please write down the definition down here on the bottom. Flail chest occurs when blunt trauma creates a fracture of two or more ribs in two or more places. So I'm gonna give you guys about a minute. Go ahead and just write that down real quick. 